good? Yeah, we're happy. Hi, uh, the first game is only a couple of days away now. How are you feeling about kicking off the tournament? Um, honestly, I'm just really excited. We've been there for a while now, so I'm just really ready for this tournament to start. Um, I feel like the team is ready. It's obviously going to be a cool game. A lot of people watching um, against New Zealand. So hopefully it will be a really good game. And obviously that game against New Zealand, it's not just against the host for you. It's a chance to play against one of your Brighton teammates, mm -hmm. Rebecca Stuck. How are you feeling about coming up against her? Uh, I mean, she's a great player and a great person. And obviously when we're playing, we're <laughs> I want to win, obviously. But um, I don't know. Like I... It's, I'm happy to see that she's here. I'm happy to see that she's back, that she's playing. Um, I hope that she does well. I hope New Zealand does well, but not as. I hope, still hope we beat them. And speaking of beating them, you are the favourites for your group with the teams that are in there. Does that come with added pressure for you guys? I think we, um, us as a group has been like really trying to focus on just taking one game at a time. Um, we know what the expectations are. Um, we also have expectations for ourselves, and I think what's been important is just to take one, take the game, and try to put on a good performance. And if we play well, then we should get a good result out of it. And you've got a, a new coach, new faces. How is that all blending together with the experienced players you've got? I think um, we're a good mix of people. I am people from different leagues. A lot of. People have done really well with their club teams. Um, obviously, young players that have really good potential. Um, so I think I feel like we're a really like good good mix. Um, and obviously, Hege has a lot of experience too. She's been to a few f tournaments before, um, which is good. So yeah, hopefully we're we're all ready. What I don't know if she's just down the line. <laughs> what, uh, what kind of things has Hege changed maybe since she's taken over? I mean. I mean, she's just, she's a different type of coach. You get something with one coach and then something else with another. Obviously, we play in a different system now. Um, their focus uh, areas of focus is a slightly different. Um, just uh, honestly, just like a general approach is, is different. And um, yeah. And last one for me. Obviously, you have got a lot of kind of core experienced players. One of those players is Ada Hegerberg. Mm -hmm. Just how important is she going to be for you guys? Uh, obviously, she's one of the best players in the world and the best player in her position. And uh, for us to get her started, for her to get goals, um, she puts down so much effort. Um, so to get her going, that could be um, game changing for us. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thanks Thank for you. Your time. Thank you. Have a nice day. Ready? Let's go. So, uh, the first game is only a couple of days away now. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling about kicking off the tournament? Mm, the feeling is that I just want to get started. I feel like we've spent uh, many days here in New Zealand now and and yeah, you just you just want to come in the bubble and start the game. So I'm really excited. With the teams that are in your group, you're expected to win it. Does that come with extra pressure? I mean, it's a pressure we uh, we hope to handle and pressure we have on ourselves also. So of course we want to go through this group. Mm. And playing for Barcelona, you're obviously playing with lots of different nationalities. Do you think that gives you an advantage in a tournament like this? Maybe. I mean, I'm, I'm used to playing against that type of, of players, so I think that gives us maybe an advantage. But it's, it's a lot of different teams and a lot of different uh, things. We're going to meet some physical teams, uh, especially now against New Zealand. So that's going to be tough, but also something we are prepared for. And also, 